seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Alexander versus Jackson. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Alexander, you and your daughter are here today because your son contacted paternity court. He was seeking a DNA test on a baby he was unsure he'd fathered. Sadly, just two weeks later, he died in a tragic accident. You have the court's deepest condolences. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Jackson, you admit Mrs. Alexander's son had reason to doubt paternity. Yes, Your Honor. You say you were having sexual relations with both him and another man at the time of conception. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mrs. Alexander, uh, please, tell the court what brought you here today. Well, Your Honor, I came here um, on behalf of Nicholas. He had started this process um, about two weeks before he died. He had called the court for a paternity test. Your son had reached out to paternity court. He yes, certainly he did. did. Because he had an issue he wanted to resolve here. Absolutely. Yes. And you then found the message yes. returned from the court. Yes. Your Honor, I don't believe in coincidences, you know, and it was supposed to happen. We were supposed to be here, and I'm glad we're here to get clarity, you know, and... Your brother had contacted the court yes. because he was unsure if he had fathered Ms. Jackson's son. Yes, Your Honor. At the beginning, when uh, William was first born, the child was first born, she said that it was other men, and she said it was more than one. She told me, my daughter, and Nicholas. Nicholas also said at the delivery, it was more than him at the delivery waiting That's to... That's not true, No, that was not. He told me it was two other guys... That's no, not that true. ...there, and when the baby was born, they looked at it and looked at That's the child, not true. and they said it didn't look like them, and they dapped each other, and they left. That's they said, man, true. you stand... Your Honor, Nick was the only person not in that stayed. He was the stand-up guy. He, he wanted That's responsibility, not true. I feel. I always told him so, never to be a deadbeat. I have to ask you, were there multiple men at the hospital? No. No, other but my boyfriend. When the baby was born? No, 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 then my boyfriend. Were there multiple men you were sleeping with during the time of conception? Yes, Your Honor. So you know when you got pregnant, you did not know who the father of your child was? Yes, Your Honor. But at the hospital, it was only one other person that, that I knew who came with us was my boyfriend, but I met him when I was already five months pregnant. Okay. And he was not in delivery. So at the hospital, it was your boyfriend there and then also Nicholas. And people that came with him. So after William was born, Nicholas, did he accept him as his son? I do have a picture of him holding him when Will came out after I got done holding him. And he him. was excited when he had, when the baby and when came out. when he first came out, I, when I, as I was holding him, he was telling me to hurry up so he can get him. So he was excited to hold yes. the baby for the first time. I do have a picture of him holding my baby for the first time. Jerome, may I see that, please? Sure. So... He did accept him, or was he just trying to do the right thing, or did he, he accept, accept wholeheartedly him. that he, he was the he, father of this child, even though you expressed to him there was a chance he was not? Yes, because he told me he felt in his heart that that was his son. Nick, I felt like, was playing two sides. He would say that, you know, he was sure, I mean, sure about it, but then at the same time, he wasn't sure. You know what I mean? I felt like he just knew that me and my mother wasn't going to just jump the gun just like he did. You know what I mean? Okay. As, as, as far as accepting William. You know what I mean? And he, he, didn't, he didn't take no precautions, no protocol as far as when William was first born, they should have been, you know, got a paternity test she for William. Tried to do that. I tried to, I did try to get a paternity test the day William was born, but the hospital told me we had to go to another place. And I tried taking him to that place, but he wasn't willing to do that with me. Because I had to open up a case with child support against him for me to, to take that um, DNA test. About two weeks before Nicholas died, they hooked up to go to child support, but they couldn't uh, do it. I had talked Nicholas into doing that because I said, I don't believe he's yours, so it won't matter if you go to child support because they won't charge you then. 
Why is it you didn't believe the baby and was? Because she was honest. She's lying. She told me and my daughter that it was uh, several different men that could be a possibility. We was in my basement. She told us that that was the first time Horn William came to my house after he was born. I had told Nicholas I didn't want him there because I didn't want to fall in love with him until I knew. We had already had a scare like that once before, and Nicholas had a previous relationship, and the girl told him the child was healed, and it turned out it was. And they were actually and I, in a relationship. And they was in a relationship, not no fly-by-night. That was a fly-by-night relationship, and it was And, and I mean, your concern was, please don't bring the baby yet because I'm going to fall in love with the baby. I'm going to want to be the baby's grandmother. That's it's right. Gonna, and then I, will, I believe you need to know, and we need to know as a family, if it's indeed yours, especially since the young woman is also saying there's yes, reason to doubt. Yes. And it's so, for our clarity, Your Honor. You know, it's for our clarity. Now Nick is not here to speak for himself, you know? Are you certain as you stand here today that the father, out of those two possibilities, would be Nicholas? I, yes, I felt in my heart that Nick is my baby father. He also felt that. I have never told them that it was more than two people. It's always been him and the other dude. Because I did have a one night stand with the other dude a couple of weeks before my birthday, and I did indeed sleep with Nick the day after my birthday. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Your mother is here as well. Ma'am, please step up to the podium. This is the time I'd like to hear from you. How you doing, Your Honor? I'm April Zachary. I'm Vanille, Jackson's mother. Me as a parent, Your Honor, I can understand a lot of the situation about them wanting to have doubt. I understand how she feels as a mother. I understand she loved her son. I loved her son. Despite of what's going through, Nicholas called me, even when I didn't have Willie at my house, he called me either via Facebook or by a phone. I talked to Nick almost every day. I consider him as being my son-in-law. When Nick left here, I was hurt. I was deeply hurt. And I came here because I wanted to have clarity. I wanted her to have clarity. I, um, I was there at the hospital when William came to this where it was me and Nick, it wasn't nobody else. When that baby was coming here, he was excited. Me and him cheered. He went to cut um, the court. She never let me know that it was a doubt. I been to her house. If she had a doubt that my baby, my grandbaby was not her grandson, she never came to me and said that. Nick never came to me and said that. So I was not, un I was really unaware that this is how she felt until today. And like my, my daughter said. Excuse me, your Nick didn't sign the birth certificate. He had to have his ID to sign a birth certificate. He never took it back up there. But he called his mama too, and I, I told him he, he better not. I never did say he gonna call the birthday. He, he called didn't his sign mama and told he me about called you. the he paperwork. Did. Hold on, ladies. Now, Ms. Alexander, go ahead. He called me from the hospital. I said, "Have you signed anything?" He said, "No, nah, mama, but they brought some papers in here." I said, "Get your butt out he of there!" I said, "You he better not." I said, "You better not he sign nothing." But why would he tell a lie? that two other guys was there. What he got to get out of there? What did you want to add, Ms. Alexander? The baby does not look anything like any of he us. Do. Don't look like my brother. He do. He, he probably look like Alexander, you seem really like you're emotional. What, what is it that you're thinking? My son is a, was a stand-up guy. I was. mean, he was a, a, a real man. He I had was. always told him, don't be a deadbeat. He loved, he loved that, that baby. He baby. He loved I love William. I didn't want to fall in love with William. I told him, don't bring William over my house. I want, I don't want to fall in love with him until we get this confirmed. Because I have fam a family member who went through the same thing. And I, I, I can't do that. Oh, and she's baby. still in love with that baby now. And, the, and she don't found out that baby ain't her grandson. You're feeling that your son was trying to be a good guy and just trying to do the right take thing. responsibility. Even though he was not sure. Absolutely. Oh, that's right. But at the end, he really wanted to find out. Well, because obviously, he because he reached out to this court. He was in another relationship with a woman that he had fell in love with, and I knew eventually they were going to marry. What was your relationship like with Nicholas? Messing around, it was it. They were friends. No, we was friends at a point in time, but after I found that I was pregnant, that friendship kind of just broke off. But I would like to add something to the thing to Will being born. 
Nick actually named my baby. William Damn. is named after my grandfather. That is an interesting piece of information. Why would your son give Miss Jackson's son your grandfather's name unless he truly believed it was his child? Like I said, Nick wanted responsibility. He did. She never he asked took Nick it. For he brought two of his best friends with him to the hospital, and both of them have kids. And Nick always wanted to be in the club with them. Excuse me. He always yeah. wanted to be I'm a, I wanted my baby name to be different. I didn't want his name to be William. His and original name was supposed anything. to be DeAndre Jackson. Well, you was the mama. You could have named him what you wanted. You didn't have to go by what no man say. True. And she but did. I just felt like she did it out of love. Oh, I just man. felt she like it out of love. Man. You didn't name the baby William out of love for Nicholas. You named the baby William because Nicholas loved the baby so much. And I felt like to me, I owe him that type of respect for him to give if that is his first son a name. I don't want him just to be like, I didn't name him and all that good stuff. He came up with the name William. I didn't have a problem with it. I told him, if and you they want agree that came And we, we agreed to the name. And they agreed this, to it. the other potential father, did you talk about any of this, any of the birth, any of the, I th I any told of him that I was with, pregnant. the names with him too? He acted kind of the same way Nick did when I first told him I was pregnant. Both of them, they really wasn't ready to be a father, and I didn't talk to them until I didn't talk back talk to Nick until I was after two months pregnant. And what happened to the other guy? I just cut him off completely because I didn't have time for him to be acting like that. Like but I, he could be the possible father. It fine. really don't matter because I've been taking care of my baby by myself. That's fine. With my mom. We do this. It's me. Well, why are we here? To so get that, took, to get that, fine. to get that that's check right. or something. We don't need no I check. Came you, you brought they us here. She called. You brought us here. We, she we didn't called. Call, so she, you brought us here. You, you didn't have to come. Court. You didn't have to come. Hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. Explain to me what is Excuse it you're trying me. to say? A couple of days after the morning, you're wanting a copy of Nick's death certificate. What'd that tell you? You want some money, though, right? For your Excuse baby. Excuse me. And why you can't go to the Excuse other me. me? Excuse me. And the only reason I asked for his death certificate because I am a single mother. I, ha I stay with my daddy right now until I can get on my feet. But I am, a, I am a single mother. I just got finished with high school. I just need that type of help. Ms. Alexander, what are your hopes for today? Your Honor, this is my son's obituary. And we had a great relationship. And, um... I just want answers. I just want answers. Nick started this, and I just want to finish it for him. I want answers. He started this before he died. And, uh, and I just want to know who William is. Is he Nick's son or is not? Do you have a hope? Do you have I a hope, hope that William? I really do hope he's Nick. Nick would want that. I have a little a piece of him. He if will. they let us in his life, but I would have a piece of him. What are you I'm, hoping for, Ms. Alexander? I'm hoping for clarity. Um, you know, my brother, as you know, he loved the baby. He did. And my at the, at, does too. at the lake, right before he died, you know, this is my last picture. Would you like to see it? The last picture that I, I took would. with Jerome, my brother. Will you hand that to me, please? That's his last photo at the, at the lake. lake. Right before he died. And um, he was just telling me his plans as far as, you know, his relationship with his girlfriend, his relationship with William, and how he just wants to be a great father to him and just get some clarity of what's going on. And it's just unfortunate that he couldn't, he couldn't find out before he died, you know? I'm so truly sorry for your loss in you. such a tragic accident. Thank you, Your Honor. I think um, at this time, we should learn the results. Are we ready? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm going to go get my baby. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Alexander versus Jackson, when it comes to one-year-old William, it has been determined 
that Mr. Nicholas Alexander is not the father. Yes, I know. I wish it would have been different. Because I really, I really love Nick. I really love you. We clicked. I wish it would have been different too, April. <laughs> it's okay. I love that boy. I love Nicholas. I love that Nicholas boy. Nicholas was a lovable boy. Love boy. And I, you know, Don't I'm sorry. Cry, baby. It's, 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 it's okay. All right. yep. It's all right. I still love Willie Buki. I still love him. Okay. It's going to be all right. Miss Jackson? I just want my baby. I hope you know and you believe that your child was blessed having known him. He was. And he having was very been loved blessed. by him. Miss Jackson, if you make a baby, you have to take care of a baby in this country. I, I take care of my baby. No, I'm not talking about just you. I'm talking about the father. Are we clear? Yes. Yeah. I wish you all the best of luck and keep those beautiful memories of Nicholas alive. We will, Your Honor. Okay? Thank you. Court is adjourned. Thank you. I said for Country Choir, I am going to continue raising my son as I've been doing because of the, the other possibility no longer wants, wants to be a part of my son's life. He chose that upon himself. And we are going to get on the phone and call the world. Call Gerald. And people husband. who love Nick because everybody just thought that this baby was Nick's and it ain't.